Using the derivative formula for the Laplace transform, find the Laplace transform of the function f of t equals t sine of 2t. Let's first recall the definition of the Laplace transform. So if I have a function f of t, we take its Laplace transform, what comes out is going to be another function in the variable s. Then we'll define this as the improper integral from 0 to infinity of f of t e to the minus st dt. So here, since we're integrating with respect to t, we're going to treat the s as a constant when we integrate. Then we'll have to worry about where our integral is defined. Now, for the Laplace transform of t sine of 2t, note that our first step is to find this antiderivative here, okay, of this function. That could take a little bit of work. So we could do that, but we'd like to avoid that work. So that's going to be where our derivative formula comes in. If we use this, we won't need to do any integration. Only catch is we'll need to know the Laplace transforms of sine and cosine, and we've already worked those out in a previous video. So we'll just note those later on. Now, our trick is going to be to write our Laplace transform of the derivative of t sine of 2t in two ways. So our first way, we're just going to use the formula. So if I'm taking the Laplace transform of this derivative, you just take away the derivative, multiply by s, and then evaluate at 0. So let's see what happens. So we take away the derivative. Okay, multiply by s, evaluate at 0. Then if I evaluate this at 0, we're going to 0. So that's our first way to get that expression. For the second way, we just evaluate using the product rule. So it's derivative of the first times second plus first times derivative of the second. So we work that out. And then the Laplace transform is linear. So that means I could break up sums and then I could factor out numbers. So we'll have L sine of 2t plus 2L of t cosine 2t. So the idea here, we're going to do this for t sine of 2t and t cosine of 2t. So although we only want t sine of 2t, we'll get the other one for free. Now it'll also help if we write what we want out in shorthand. So I'll call Laplace transform of t sine of 2t, capital S, then Laplace transform of t cosine of 2t, capital C. So then I can rewrite this equation here. So using the first and third lines, what I'll do is I'll push this term to the left-hand side. What do we have? We have S times capital S minus 2 times capital C is equal to the Laplace transform of sine of 2t. We go look that up. That's going to be 2 over S squared plus 4. All right. So we just do the same work we did here, but now with Laplace transform of the derivative of t cosine of 2t. So using the formula, what do we get? Take away the derivative, multiply by s, then evaluate at 0. And so we're going to get 0 out. Then if we just use the product rule, what comes out is this term here. We pull it apart using linearity. And then we're going to have, when we push this term here to this side, 2 times capital S plus s times capital C. That's going to be equal to the Laplace transform of cosine of 2t. And that's equal to s over s squared plus 4 if you go look it up. Now, if we treat little s as just another number, then we're going to have two equations and two unknowns. So what I'll want to do is, okay, let's call them 1 and 2. We'll multiply the first one by s, the second one by 2. And then if we add, you know, our capital C goes away. So let's do that. So once I do that, we add what's left over is going to be s squared plus 4 times capital S equals 4s over s squared plus 4. We divide by s squared plus 4. That isolates capital S. So that's going to be our answer. So Laplace transform of t sine of 2t is going to be equal to 4s over s squared plus 4 quantity squared. Now, if you go through all your work, replace your 2 with an a, we'll get the Laplace transform of t sine of at to be 2as s squared plus a squared quantity squared. Now, you can back substitute in your capital S, say into your second equation, and then you'll be able to solve for capital C. 
So when we do that, we'll get s squared minus four over s squared plus four squared for the Laplace transform of t cosine of two t. And again, if you go back and just replace your two with an a, we'll get a formula for Laplace transform of t cosine of a t. So I'll be s squared minus a squared over s squared plus a squared quantity squared. So that's our problem. To verify our answer, find the initial value problem that goes with f of t equal to t sine of 2t. Now, if we had just sine of 2t, that's the solution of the ODE, y double prime plus 4y equals 0. In that case, the characteristic polynomials t squared plus 4. Now, since I have a t in front, we move the multiplicities up by 1. So our new characteristic polynomial is going to be t squared plus 4 quantity squared. Then if we expand, so t to the fourth plus a t squared plus 16, that becomes the ODE fourth derivative of y plus eight y double prime plus 16 y equals zero. All we need now are the initial conditions. So we'll take our f of t, take as many derivatives as we need, and then we'll evaluate at zero. So in this case, since our ODE is fourth order, we're gonna need three derivatives. So when we work those out, we evaluated zero. We know that everything's coming out zero except for second derivative of y at zero is gonna be equal to four. Now, what we have in the boxes, that's gonna be our initial value problem. So what we're gonna do next, I'm gonna take our ODE, we're gonna apply the Laplace transform on both sides. So we're gonna need formulas for Laplace transforms of the derivatives that show up in our equation. Okay, so let's work them out. So for, for the fourth derivative, what do we do? We apply the Laplace transform, and then our derivative rule says, okay, you go one derivative down, so it's gonna be third derivative, apply the Laplace transform, multiply by s, and then subtract off your third derivative at zero. Okay, in this case, it's gonna be equal to zero. Then we're gonna apply to each derivative. Once you've done that, we're gonna to wanna to get everything in terms of the Laplace transform of y. So we can do that by back substituting. So the idea is you're gonna start at the bottom of the column and then just start working your way up one term at a time. Now if you know it, okay, so here's what comes out. Everything's in term of Laplace transform of y. Now we can go ahead and substitute back into our original ODE. So we apply Laplace transforms to both sides then by linearity, you can break up the sum and then pull the numbers out. Once you've done that, you can put in our terms here, and that's gonna give us this equation in this box over here. When you isolate Laplace transform of y, what's gonna come out is gonna be 4s over s squared plus four squared, and that's gonna verify what we got from our original method.